He once he gets into burst mode, his speed kicks way up. Okay. But Blaziken has a lot more power potential throughout. And uh, I saw the Latias support, and then mm -hmm. right for the blind pick. But uh, ooh. okay, and we're gonna so, swap these tags because Anthony is Blaziken. There you go. Um, so there you see Blaziken's utilizing some of the frame data as far as how far away he can get himself a lot of the times and switching between and oh yeah good I good idea uh ventro adding anthony uh his sponsor his company frost giants oh look at how professional we are now you can see all the damage that season is outputting with that with anthony's getting a lot of the a lot of the hitbox advantage due to the nature of how Caesar hits. Uh, Blaziken moves his body around a lot, as you can see, swiping beneath. So Ooh! He dodges a lot of Caesar's attacks. Oh, nice. So Blaziken dis has a distinct advantage off the bat. Gotcha. But Craig has played this game a little bit. Yo, and the side. users are saying they can't hear you. Craig's been playing this game a little bit more, but Blaziken definitely has the hitboxes to repeat myself, because I was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Okay, so and the corner pressure right now. Yeah, and that's that's one thing that Caesar definitely excels at, and people who've played the Wii U version would not necessarily know, because Caesar was not in that version, it was arcade only. Right. And since Craig goes for his burst here, he's probably gonna finish it off with the burst attack itself. There and it is! There you go. Yep. So Kiwi answering back. Oh yeah, it's it's nice and even here. And how these sets work, it'll be uh, best two out of three for the round, mm -hmm. and best two out of three round or um for the set. For oh the yeah, set. Yeah. yeah. So no one's won an actual game. No one's yet. won an actual game yet. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Traditional. Yeah. And so we saw there shielding. You can shield block just like you would in Smash. So. Oh, that attack looks crazy. Oh, the swords dance that Craig goes for, yeah. And he got Craig mid-animation there, so that was a nice critical hit. So does the sword dance actually increase uh, Scizor's attack, too? Um, not directly. It adds another hit into most of his combos. Oh, okay. But there are similar things, like Darkrai has nasty plots going on that he can actually directly boost his attack. But Craig's going for a good straight up combo ooh, there. Ooh, nice combo. Good chunk of damage. Trying to. S ooh, Doctor Art coming in. Uh, no, nah, that's that's Evelto. Oh, what Evelto. Happens, yeah, if Craig were to not block that, then he would have had his synergy burst uh, disabled. Oh. Essentially, which wow. is real ridiculous on power. But oh, oh clutching it, it out. He got through at the last second with a nice crit. That was beautiful. So that is a win. That's number one here for Anthony then. And so winner is locked into their Pokemon. Correct. That's how that's how uh, fighting games like these work. Yup. And uh, however, does he get to swap out his support Pokemon? Um, I do not actually know that. Okay. Because I know in Marvel, apparently, after you win, you can still swap out your stone. So I believe that would be a yes then. Okay. But yeah. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, Anthony charges in right away, taking advantage of Caesar's lack of vertical projectiles in field mode. And then they're just swapping hit for hit right here. And Craig, oh, Craig didn't follow it up with a proper combo and went mm. for a grab to get crit. And then Blaziken coming in again from the top. No, no overheads in this game. What do you mean? Um, if you have an aerial attack, a block will still block it. There's no like crouching blocking or... Correct. It's yeah. just when you're blocking, you're blocking. Okay. Period. So, ooh, Blaze can get in another crit off. Oh. Ooh, just spamming here, hoping for the best. Oh, it's getting close. A little, and that's... Oh, ooh, got it. That's it. That's another thing is there are many attacks in this game that actually heal you. Mm. And some much more than others. But okay. so you saw a little bit of Craig's health coming back. That put him just enough back in the game to finish off. And then so the attacks recover the health that you have in the red bar. Right? Correct. Okay. Correct. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the dark green bar is. I think that's just like an artistic choice, kind of showing recent damage. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I keep saying. Is that? No, don't see it. But, uh, yeah, I just realized I keep calling him Craig. <laughs> eh, Kiwi, Kiwi equals yep, Craig. Yup, yep, Kiwi is Craig. I'm not gonna take last. You're not gonna take last? <laughs> Who's gonna take last then? That'll probably me. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, so that's. That's really. Sh Craig was really showcasing Caesar's wall pressure there. That's. A big aspect of this game is, is especially if you can get uh, transition into dual phase, that makes it so that the stage is much thinner yeah. than as a wall character that's very fa favorable. And that's also why only Ferrum sta Stadium is legal as far as stages, because it's completely it's perfectly circular. Okay. Whereas if you had an oval, it would be you get these tiny areas up here where the people, the characters with wall pressure just absolutely destroyed. Gotcha. That makes Ooh. sense. And Craig's really holding the pressure with the projectiles with Anthony deciding not to go for the... Ooh, he, Weird. He, he's going for the high jump kicks, though. He's, that's that's the thing with Blaziken is his A attacks, especially in dual phase, like that, um, they, can, they have recoil damage. And even hitting a Brave Bird like that, Anthony himself takes damage. Mm. That's sort of the trade-off and why Blaziken isn't directly a power character. Gotcha. Because he damages himself, too. And most power characters tend to be tanks also. Right. So So he's kind of a hybrid, then, almost. Yeah. Blaziken's a very odd character. And due to that, he was often seen as low, low tier in Wii U Pokémon. Uh, tournaments, wait, oh. Pokemon tournament tournaments. That's yep. <laughs> huh. oh, oh, plays good again. combo to finish it off. That's all it takes is one good combo and tides are turned. So Anthony, one round away from winning this round one. Correct. Yeah. Oh, he goes for the flying blaze kick. And it's in, and now oh, he drops that combo, shaking it up. Oh. That interrupts. Craig's just given, yeah, uh, when you go into, or when you start a synergy burst, it interrupts. And also worth noting, part of the reason why you, oh, oh the just whiff. whiffed each other there, I think. Oh, no, he still got it. I thought he went, oh, oh wrong way. Dang. Man, a lot of whiffs. But uh, one reason you will often see people go for a synergy burst when the other person goes for a synergy burst is mm -hmm. because if you are in your burst mode and the other person is not, you have a distinct advantage as far as damage output because of your raised stats in that form. Okay. And so by going into a burst mode yourself, your defensive stats get boosted also. Nice. All right. So that's part of why you'll see that happen often. Ooh, oh, and the choice. grab punish. Ugh. Anthony going to take it. Two to one. Grab. 